Hey guys, it's Bowsy Wowsy, and today we are doing a tutorial on these fantasy mushrooms. These are some darker mushrooms that could fit in a gloomier sort of setting. If you did some of my Halloween stuff, this would look great in a swampy or Halloween-y sort of setting. Just wanna give you guys, there's four little different mushrooms here. We're gonna go ahead and start right here with this one, this brown one. Let me show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need polished basalt, black and brown terracotta. So to get started, we're gonna place our first basalt block. We're gonna go up two more for a total of three. We're gonna place a helper block right here in the middle, and we're gonna go up four from that, one, two, three, and four. Go ahead and remove that helper block, place a shroom light up top here. Next, you're just gonna place a helper block to place a brown piece next to this here. Go ahead and make this shape with your brown. Take your, <clears throat> with your black terracotta, with your brown, go ahead and come right here with one like that. Use a helper block right here to come up and come back this way. We're gonna make that same L shape again. Underneath that L, a brown right here and a brown right there. Underneath this one, a black like that. Okay, one more time, we're gonna use a helper block right here. We're gonna place a black right there. Uh, go ahead and keep that helper block because we're going to place a brown here and a black next to it. You can go ahead and remove that helper block. Let's move over to this side here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a helper block here and we're gonna go one, two, and we're gonna make that L shape with the black like this and then a brown right here. From here, we're gonna bring this over one, two, okay, and down one like this. In the back here, go ahead and place a helper block and place a black terracotta like that. Moving over to this side, we're gonna go ahead and place a helper block here. We're gonna go one, two, three with our black. On top of that, a brown like this. Go ahead and bring this over one, a brown next to it, and a black underneath. And we're gonna head over to this last side here. Go ahead and place a helper block. And we're gonna go one black, one brown, one black. Go ahead and remove that helper block, a black on top here, and a black right here. You can go ahead and come all the way inside and remove that initial helper block if you want. Probably will never show up. So there you have it, your first completed dark mushroom. For our next mushroom, we're gonna go with this warped and birch one, okay? Let me show you what you're gonna need for it. You're going to need polished basalt, shroom light, warped planks, warped stairs, birch planks, and birch stairs. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go up three here with our basalt. On top of that, a shroom light like this. And then what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna come here on the diagonal with a warped here, another warped there. On this diagonal over here, we're gonna place a birch like this and a warped on the other one. So if we're looking at it from the front, this is what it should be looking like. And the reason we're doing it that way is because we're actually gonna come under here and we're gonna place some upside down stairs in this shape. So a warped here, turning over to the side, we're gonna place a birch like this and then warped everywhere else. It's just a little bit tricky to place sometimes. There you go. So now you kind of have full blocks but that light is still gonna shine through. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and bring up our warped planks here, a birch here, two warped on top like this, and a birch right there with one warped right here. Using a helper block, we're gonna go ahead and go warped here, another helper block, a warped here, and another helper block with a warped there to make that shape. From the front here, we're gonna go ahead and move over to this side. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is warped here and a birch here, another warped and a warped like this. A helper block to then place a birch like this. Okay, now that we're on this side, let's finish this one up. And we just go ahead and complete the rest of this with warped blocks. All we have left is this little spot right here. And to finish off that little spot, go ahead and just place two warped blocks like that. And there you have it, your completed little mini warped mushroom. For our next mushroom here, we're gonna go with this lime mushroom. 
Okay, he has a little um, light up top there. Let me show you what you're gonna need. Really simple. You're gonna need mushroom stem, sea lantern, some lime concrete, and some lime stained glass. So to go ahead and get started, place your first block, go up four more, so for a total of five. One, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna go ahead and move over to the side here. We're gonna place a helper block right there because then we're gonna go up, go up six with our mushroom stem. One, two, three, four, five, and six. On top of that sixth one is a sea lantern. Go ahead and remove that helper block that you previously used. From your stem here, go ahead and come down to the second mushroom stem block here. Place a lime stained glass and another one. Remove that first one you place. This is gonna start our mushroom head here, and we're gonna go ahead and surround this over on the top with the lime concrete, and then go up one like this. Go ahead and place a helper block here, and we're gonna bring a lime concrete back like that. Another helper block here, and we're gonna place a lime stained glass back like that. Another helper block here, and we're gonna bring a lime concrete back to make this shape. Go ahead and head over to this side right here. Go ahead and place a helper block there, a lime stained glass here. Remove that helper block, bring this all the way across to make three. Two up here, one there, and a lime stained glass in that corner. A helper block right here, we're gonna place a lime concrete, and another helper block right here, and we're gonna place a lime concrete. On the top here, another helper block, and we're gonna place a stained glass behind that. Okay, that's what it should be looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the back, and from here, we're gonna place a helper block, because we're gonna bring that lime concrete out. We're gonna go up one more with that, and make this shape here with a lime stained glass on the bottom. On the top here is a lime stained glass there. We're gonna use a helper block to bring a lime concrete back here. Right here, go ahead and use another, we are using plenty of helper blocks. A helper block here to go ahead and place a lime concrete there and a lime concrete on top. Remove that stain, um, <clears throat> that sea lantern that you had placed. And last side right here, go ahead and place that helper block. We're gonna bring the lime concrete out this way. We're gonna make a little U shape with it with a lime stained glass like this. On top of it is a lime concrete. We're gonna use our last helper block here to place that last lime concrete. And there you have it. You have a completed lime green tall mushroom. Let's go ahead and finish off with that last one. This one should be the easiest of them all to finish up super quick and easy. Let me go ahead and show you what you're gonna need. Warped stem, sea lantern, and some cyan stained glass. So go ahead and bring this up three right here. You're just gonna use a helper block here then, and then come up two like this. On the top, a sea lantern. Go ahead and use a helper block to then place a cyan stained glass like this. We're gonna come around three. We're gonna use a helper block to then fill in three more like this and go ahead and do that all around until you have a square, I guess, <laughs> and then remove your sea lanterns. Okay, now that you have that completed, just place a cyan block on top of there and fill in the hole. It's gonna be a three by three. There you have it, your glowy see-through mushroom. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, bye-bye.